Uh, I guess we want to see a transformation, so let's have a look. Carry that weight, just like you're carrying the stress of your relationship. Oh my gosh! No more, it's joining, and you and me both know that when looking for people to really boost your self-confidence, there's no one better than the Kardashians. Whenever I'm feeling down about myself, I just think, what would Khloe Kardashian say? We all have imperfections that we all want to try to perfect. And I instantly feel much better. No? <laughs> well, it's not just me because they made a whole show about it. You know, I'm surprisingly not really one to rag on the Kardashians. I honestly don't mind watching an episode of Keeping Up from time to time. It's the TV equivalent of getting into a sauna. It's painful yet enjoyable. And when you come out of it, the normal air around you just seems so soothing. Like somehow after witnessing glammed up megastars yap about something you'll never be rich enough to worry about, it makes your reasonably average, boring life seem all right. The juxtaposition of their super crazy unrealistic lives and your relative peasant life is for some reason quite amusing. Like we just live in completely separate realities. So it's only natural that you take someone like Khloe Kardashian and put them in front of real people with real problems and have Khloe single-handedly solve their problems by hiring them a personal trainer. <laughs> Seriously. That's the plot of this show. And if you're not sold on this beautiful piece of reality television, wait till you hear the name. Revenge Body with Khloe Kardashian. Now, Hayu has so graciously cut up these episodes into bite-sized pieces with, I'll call them slightly generous titles. Let's have a look. Khloe Kardashian feels for a woman who was cheated on during pregnancy. Oh, she feels for her. Sounds very clickable. Let's see how much Khloe feels for this woman. I love weddings in general, so I've always wanted to be a bridal consultant, but it's hard for me to see brides with their moms because I'm never gonna get that with my mom. Okay, so 30 seconds in, we are immediately being exposed to reality television's favorite thing in the world, uh, personal tragedy. Reality TV loves your personal tragedy so much. Like honestly, the sadder your story, the better. My mom was the best, supportive and loving, and she was my best friend. In April of 2015, I got a phone call. Mom had a heart attack. She got up to get dressed and then her heart exploded. You've got to imagine that she did not necessarily want to use the word exploded. She's probably sitting there like, and then her heart stopped. And the producers are like, ah, uh, cut, cut. Stopped? I mean, we can do a little bit better than that. How about like, exploded? Meanwhile, she's weeping. Uh, guys, I'm talking about my mum died. It's actually kind of a, you're gonna say exploded or you're not gonna get to meet Chloe. My life just blew up in front of my face when I lost my mom. What brought you here today? All right, here's Chloe, ready to fix this situation. Three years ago, my mom passed away very suddenly. And oh my God. Yeah, so it was really hard for me and my two siblings. Of course. Um, I have an older sister. Did she just say the worst? <laughs> uh, my mom died three years ago. It's pretty, it's been pretty hard. Ah, oh, just the worst. So then six months after I moved home, I met Chad, who is actually my daughter's dad. Mm -hmm. Okay, do we not know this by now? Like his name's Chad. I'm sorry, there's probably some great Chads out there, but like the warning is in his name. Okay, but whatever, uh, Chad shows up. And I was pregnant very soon into our relationship. And then when I was eight months pregnant, I found out that he had a girlfriend the whole time I was pregnant and she knew about me, so. I and she knew you were pregnant? Yeah, so Aww. yeah, it's hard. Yeah. And Okay, so far, if you're wondering when Khloe Kardashian is gonna feel for this woman, uh, she already has. You're not getting any more than this, okay? <laughs> She's listening to this woman's story and, and Chloe, feeling for her, says, mm. And that's about the extent of her appearance. For the sake of my daughter, at the end of this, if Chad wanted to, I may get back together with him. Nah, I didn't. I don't think so. Uh, we're about to go into revenge body mode. We're going to assign her a personal trainer and we're going to get her jacked. So Chad regrets his decision. But that... But that was Chloe's segment, as in Chloe's not not in the rest of this. Now, granted, this is pulled from a full episode, but that was our glimpse of Chloe Kardashian feeling for this woman. It's Chloe Kardashian's show, right? And her role in this show is to sit down and listen to the. I don't want to be insensitive, but 
It's called the sub story. Just sort of, mm, yeah, wow, really? Crazy. And then we move on to the rest of the show <laughs> where we get in the actual personal trainers and put her through the work and everything. And can I just mention, I have utmost sympathy for someone who, you know, loses their mom. That's That's gotta be very tough, but it didn't actually have a link to the reason she's here. The reason for her getting on this show to develop her revenge buddy is just to get her super cut so that Chad's all like, oh dang, you're skinny now. But when she's probably auditioning for this show, she's talking to the producers and she's like, oh, I've just been through like this really tough breakup. Uh, Chad was cheating on me through uh, my pregnancy. It was only a few years after my mom died and I just like had- Whoa, what was that? Oh, uh, Chad's, Chad was cheating on me. He knew the whole time. It was pretty brutal. Chad, 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 Chad. You said something about your mom. Oh. Yeah, she died. Just, I, oh, I'm so sorry to hear about that. I, could you tell us a little bit more about that? It, it doesn't have much to do with the story, but it was pretty sad. My mom was my whole life, you know? Like I really looked up to her. Great. You've got the role. Just make sure you talk about that for about 70% of the story, rather than spending too much time talking about the reason you're actually here. Which is already kind of funny because like other TV shows, you're watching The Voice and someone gets out there, they're just there to sing, you know what I mean? They're there to spin some chairs. But The Voice is like, listen, I mean, if you want screen time, you, you're gonna have to talk about your dead mom, dude. That's just, I'm sorry, that's how it works. You're sitting at home judging this book by a cover so dang hard. Ah, oh, look at this one. They're gonna be pitchy for sure. Then they start talking about their mom's cancer and how their dad was run over by a train and you're there just crying like I specifically changed the channel from 60 minutes why are we here but then this show takes it to the next level they literally get people in with pre-existing sub stories but it's just not good enough for them <laughs> wait, wait wait we can sub story the sub story but it came out to Chad situation everybody gets cheated on talk about your dead mom I'm not trying to be insensitive. I'm actually trying to draw attention to the fact that it is messed up. It is insensitive. To put so much emphasis, she was literally crying there talking about her mum who has died. When it didn't need to be there, it wasn't a part of this narrative. But anyway, let's see her pump some weights for some reason. Good. I'm Autumn. Nice Kara, to meet nice you. To meet Come you. on in. I'm Autumn Calabrese. I am a celebrity trainer. Of course, the celebrity trainer's name is Autumn Calabrese. <laughs> I'm not judging. That is like one of the coolest names I've ever heard. Autumn Calabrese. So first of all, welcome. Thanks. We're not going to normally be in a gym setting. Okay. Because I'm taking you through my 80 day obsession program. Okay. Which is designed to actually be able to do at home. Okay. Well, this just seems like an ad for this chick's 80 day program. So. We're starting with Total Body Core today. Chloe paired me with Tara because she's a single mom. I'm a single mom. I'm sure Chloe did her research. I'm sure she was up all night just sitting at her laptop. Dang, I keep finding all these great personal trainers who could really get her into shape real fast, but I just need to find a single mom. <laughs> like all these comments are just people saying, no, don't get back together with Chad. No one's talking about the fact that Khloe Kardashian has pretty much nothing to do with this show. She exists purely to be in this small segment at the start where she just says, ah, she just sort of sells the show because a lot less people are gonna watch Revenge Body rather than Revenge Body with Khloe Kardashian. And I bet you Khloe's getting paid like a hundred times more than the personal trainer who's actually here to do the work. A single mom doesn't always have time to get to the gym. So I have an at-home workout program that she can do and get amazing results. Here we go, squat. 191 even. How's that number make you feel? Gross. Look at it, cause you're never gonna see it again. Oh, the glow up. Oh, dang. Is that actually her? Today, I feel very confident and I'm standing much taller. But that's an incredible before and after, but what, what these TV shows don't want to show you is the fact that you're not going to get shredded like Miss Personal Trainer by doing some real light cardio at home. More importantly, you're not going to see those results by purely hitting the gym. This is probably like minimum 80% just diet. Realistically, to lose the weight, she probably didn't actually have to do any physical exercise. You can just lose weight by consuming less calories, but I'm not a nutritionist or a personal trainer. That's not really my point here. I'm just trying to piece all this together. We have four distinct elements of this episode summary. We have the sub story to the sub story that is is irrelevant to the next three parts. We have the actual story, the reason she's here, she's been cheated on. We have her chatting with Khloe Kardashian, I guess telling her her story. Khloe Kardashian literally doesn't have anything to say. She's just there to hear the story. And then we have her getting fit, which for TV purposes is her doing all these exercises when in reality, it was probably just the diet in the background. And when you piece this all together, it's like, why? You know, maybe after going through these tough times and really feeling it out with Chloe, Chloe has some real advice for you. She says, look, your situation may not be great. Chad's a terrible dude. Don't get back together with Chad. And look, 
while having a better body might fulfill some deep primal revenge towards Chad, that's not important. Chad's not important. His opinion of you is not important. The important thing is, is that it's a catalyst for you learning to understand that you are completely in control of your destiny. While getting your body into shape, you're proving to yourself that you are capable and you can get through anything. It's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be a lot of work. You're going to want to give in, but through this whole process, you will learn that you are strong. You know, it's not that hard, Chloe. You can, <laughs> you can have a little bit more to say. It's kind of bizarre that the title implies that the only reason these people are going through all of this work to get their body back in shape is just for petty revenge. It doesn't even particularly make sense because in the photos, she looks like she was in shape when she was with him anyway. It's not like he's gonna see this on TV and be like, Whoa, she's in better shape than ever. I really made the wrong choice. It shouldn't be about that anyway. And I get that like revenge body could be kind of the clickbait for the show. It kind of gets people watching. But you could just as easily use that to then drive the positive message of it's not about revenge. It's about you and how you feel about yourself. Like I wouldn't want to be Khloe Kardashian in this situation. I wouldn't want my name slapped on something like that. That just seems so superficial. We both know that Khloe Kardashian probably has no idea what's really going on in this TV show. She just knows she gets paid a bunch to sit on couch for 30 minutes and not ahead. It's not just this episode. I checked out a few others and it's the same thing. Khloe Kardashian helps young woman gain confidence. Okay, that sounds a little bit more proactive than just feels for her. I met this guy, John, mm -hmm. and you know, one thing would lead to another and I ended up getting pregnant Okay. at age 14. Oh, wow. Yeah, so girls just want to be girls and would tell people and next you know it be at school being called the baby murderer. That's so hard. <laughs> this is some deep, heavy stuff. This woman is pouring her heart out to you, Chloe. That's so hard. The camera like zooms in. Oh, guys, she's moving. She's doing something. She's actually responding to the person. She touched her knee. Get a close up of that. I found out that Fernando had cheated on me. He's like, I need to tell you something. I f***ed another girl. Mm. Look, what is this? She has nothing to say. I don't know her name, but she looked like Kendall Jenner. Okay. And here I am, 411, tubby. Getting cheated on sucks, but that doesn't mean you need to say, man, but if I looked like her, maybe it wouldn't have happened. Right. No, it probably still would have happened. Yeah. Sad to say, that's his issue. I would like to revenge on Fernando to show him that he can't do that to me again. Mm -hmm. If anything, it'll make your relationship stronger. Oh, absolutely. And if not, sayonara. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was the end of the Chloe segment. If you're wondering what Chloe did to give this woman confidence, she literally said, probably would have happened if you were good looking anyway. Very confidence inspiring, Chloe. Love your work. This woman then says, yeah, I want to revenge him. I want to get my body in shape because maybe he'll stay with me. And Chloe's like, yeah, well, you know, that actually might help. But uh, if it doesn't, ah, tough luck. This is just such a shocking display of so-called support by Chloe. And no one's talking about that in the comments. This person says, Chloe is almost the only one of the two sisters to have a pure mind. She listens to the problems of others and tries with all herself to help them. This is truly appreciable. I admire her. She didn't do anything. I'm sorry. I get that this is a very produced show and it genuinely might be the case that Chloe actually does have very good supportive things to say in real life. I just haven't seen any in this show. I think that this is just so superficial. Ah, we're doing a great thing here by making this TV show. When they're close, I think they're close. And I bet you some of these episodes do actually hit the mark. But in these like quick five minute wrap ups of these episodes, it just seems like they're trying to just hit the points of making a show that's really helping people, but without actually showing any of the stuff that's actually helping people. Uh, I guess we want to see a transformation. So let's have a look. Carry that weight, just like you're carrying the stress of your relationship. <laughs> oh my gosh. What the? I love how like everyone's just screaming like they haven't seen her. Like she's just disappeared out for a hundred days on the top of some mountain, just working out, living off the land, eating bugs, benching tree stumps. And finally she reveals herself in this tight blue dress. I feel like a whole weight has left my shoulders. Well, I mean, it literally has. You're looking great. Under 200 pounds is a dream come true. Turn around. Okay. It was hard being away from you guys, but Oh, wait, she actually was away from them? <laughs> Extremely hard. <laughs> it was worth it. Yeah. 
All right, look, whatever. I'm gonna finish this off with a disclaimer. This video is purely for the sake of entertainment. I judged this show based of two five and a half minute summaries of episodes. I haven't watched the entire show. I haven't even watched the full episodes. I could be entirely missing the point here. All I have done is pass criticism on these five minute versions of these episodes, okay? <laughs> I'm very happy to be proven wrong. If it actually is the case that Chloe is super supportive in the other footage that they're for some reason not showing here, then great. I actually really hope that is the case. <sighs> If you want some of the brand new lemon carton merch, you can get some in the description below. It's got this little lemon carton on it. It's pretty cute. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching my video. But now that it's done, please watch another one.